computer hard drives are probably one of the more fascinating things to recycle. There's a lot of good stuff in here, and the research and development that went into making these is just astounding for each drive. They were mass produced, and four gigabyte drives like this, or 10 gigabyte drives like this, have pretty much run out their usefulness. You can take a 10 gigabyte drive and get an external firewire set up and make these hot swappable for large files. It works pretty well, but you end up with a bunch of these around. Saving your stuff to a DVD is probably a much easier choice. So we're going to be taking these apart, and we're after a couple things inside of these. The first thing that we're after are these shiny, beautiful platters. These platters are usually coated with platinum, and they are almost a perfect mirror. This mirror works great for just about any solar project. They reflect the sun fantastic. They're probably a 95 to 99 percent perfect mirror depending on the quality of the hard drive that you have. Also inside of these, right here there is a set of neodymium magnets or rare earth magnets that are extremely powerful. These are some of the most powerful magnets that I've ever seen actually. And also on the bottom of this there is a motor with a nice bearing set right there that would work great for taking a stack like this and possibly creating a Tesla turbine. Now before you even consider hacking into one of these hard drives, you just simply can't do it without this, a torque set. These sets are pretty cheap, they're like three or four bucks. There's a special bit in here that almost every hard drive uses. If you try to take them apart without that, you're going to end up with something like this. This is my masterwork that I did with the drill. and. I can assure you that this platter probably is never going to come out of here because I stripped everything out. I tried to do it without the torque set, so you definitely want to get one of these. To start with, every hard drive is a little different. This particular one requires a slightly larger bit that I got for my screwdriver set for the external screws, with the exception of this one screw. Again, every hard drive is different, so you're going to have to deal with the case on your own. The internal parts are pretty much standard. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking these main screws out. It's a good idea to push down hard so you don't strip this. And there you go. All the screws are now out of this. Next, we have to get rid of this very annoying tape around the outside. Not all hard drives have this. Some of them, it's just basically the screws. Actually, in this hard drive, they use just regular Phillips head screws. So, again, the exteriors to these drives are all different. The reason we're going after this one is because it's got a really cool set of platters in it like this. It's an older hard drive. So if you come across this tape, what I found works best is to take very carefully take an X-Acto blade and cut around the edges. Okay, I fast forwarded ahead to get that the tape off of there because it's a bit of a pain. So what you have inside is this beautiful configuration right here. You can see these particular this is an older hard drive and these are not they're a little bit darker. They have probably less platinum in them, so they're not a perfect mirror, but they do provide a very nice reflective surface. And they also provide this. Now on top of there, there are a series of six screws that you cannot get out unless you have one of these. So we're going to take these apart. Now, if you notice, I just loosen them all. That's because I forgot about something on the back side here. We need to get this rail off of there. To do that, we use the same bit on the front for this hard drive. Again, every hard drive is different, so. We're going to peel that rail off of there. Try and do this side too. Ow, that hurt. 
Okay. Now, once you get this off, the board should just pop off of the back. There's some tiny connectors here. It can easily be taken out, like so. And now the board's completely removed from the hard drive. So you have just your hard drive here. Well, less the board. The next thing we have to do is get these little arms off of there. In this drive, they're held together with one of those screws. So we're going to take this off. And we're going to go after our magnet set. You can see the magnet. Your set of magnets comes right out of there. Now, these on most hard drives are riveted together, so you're going to have to figure out a way to get those pins apart. Right there are two very strong rare earth magnets. To show you exactly how strong they are, I've got one here that I've already separated, and you can see that it does a heck of a job picking stuff up. It's very, ouch, difficult for it. You want to be real careful with these because if you ever get two of these and you stick them together, you can take a fingernail off instantly. We have this steel pipe right here that supports our building roof. And just to show you how strong they are, ouch, um, you can see that it takes a ton of effort to get this off. This is a very, very, very strong magnet in there. Some hard drives have weaker ones. The older hard drives have monsters inside of them.